Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 55 in chapter 7. In this chapter, we talk about work and energy. We can say initially we have a car. The velocity is V1. And then it stops, 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 and then stationary at zero. So the final velocity is zero. V2 is zero, right? And then we need to find the initial velocity because we know the D, the stopping distance. And then in this case, so what should we do? We consider work energy principle. Do you agree? So work energy principle, you can see this uh, final velocity V2 is zero. So final kinetic energy is zero because there it stops. And initial velocity V1 is we want to find. V1 we don't know. And it's there. And during this process, what force does the work? Friction. And friction pointing backward, the distance is upward, is forward, agree? Okay? So the work done by this friction is FRD cosine 180 degree negative 1. Cosine 180 degree negative 1, so the work done by the friction on this object is negative friction times D, agree? Okay? Yes. So it looks like we just need to know friction when we are done. So what is the quantity given? The mu k, coin mu k, coefficient of friction. So how can we do that? So first thing we consider on the vertical direction, the force is balanced. So the normal force minus gravity equals zero. So the friction is mu k times normal force, right? So this is mu k mg, okay? So now in this case, friction is given. We can get the friction and the d is given. And then the V2 is zero. Can you find V1? Yes, very easily. So we can solve this equation. And then we can see that at this side there is mass, at this side mass, so mass can be cancelled. Agree? And then we can find V1. V1 is squared 2 times mu k g d. It don't have quantity mass. So ask you why does the car's mass not matter? Because in this equation, the mass can be cancelled. Agree? And then after we input the numbers inside, we can get V1 is equals 27 meter per second square. And uh, thank you.